Congresswoman Liz Cheney continues to be at the intersection of our country's political divide in the battle for the White House. And she spent today campaigning with Vice President Kamala Harris in battleground states. But tonight, our Lisa Adams is here. And Lisa, you sat down for an up-close interview in Erie with her just a few days ago. Good evening, that's right. Liz Cheney is at the center of this political moment. The former Republican Congresswoman from Wyoming and chair of the House Republican Conference voted to impeach Donald Trump the second time and went on to serve as vice chair of the Select Committee on the January 6th attack. I had the privilege, as you said, of sitting down face to face for a long form interview yes. with Liz Cheney in Erie last week when she packed the Bayfront Convention Center for the opening of the Jefferson Educational Society's Global Summit. Cheney still calls herself a conservative, dodging the Republican moniker. Here's part of her response to why she's endorsing and campaigning for Kamala Harris after a career working for Republican policies. And for balance, we asked Republican U.S. Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas for his take on the Cheney change. Cotton was an eerie Saturday campaigning for Republican Senate candidate Dave McCormick. She understands the coalition that is supporting her is, uh, is an historic one. And, and I think that she, um, I know she is someone who absolutely will defend the rule of law. And so for all of those reasons, uh, I felt it was very important to, to actually endorse her and, and work to help her get elected. Liz Cheney, I think, it has changed a lot over the last four years. I'm not sure why, but Kamala Harris is the same San Francisco liberal she always was. Donald Trump is the same America first champion for the working people of Pennsylvania that he always was. And I think that's what's going to come down to decide this election, not, not uh, former politicians. But Liz Cheney may not be a former politician. Speculation continues about whether she could have a cabinet post if Kamala Harris wins the White House. I asked Liz Cheney about that. The fears of undecided voters, the Middle East, and the bipartisan report on the Secret Service. You'll be able to hear my full conversation with Liz Cheney this weekend on The Insider. Lisa Adams, Erie News Now. All right, Lisa, looking forward to